having achieved and setting the all African 24 hour non stop stand up paddleboard record up in Belenculos in Mozambique. I think I reflect back now on the first two attempts and the obstacles that we, we endured the first time and we had to pull because of safety reasons in really, really trying conditions off Cape Point at about one o'clock in the morning in huge, huge seas and, and frightening conditions. And then the second time and the second attempt, 25 miles off Robben Island in the middle of the night, the fog coming in, the sea stake going horrendously difficult, freezing cold, our support boat sinking. Overall, it was incredibly challenging, even the third time round, even though we had applied everything that we had learned from the other two attempts. The new challenges felt like they were insurmountable at the time, but no matter how many challenges got thrown our way, we knew that we could overcome them from everything we had learned from the first and second time, and no matter what, I was never going to give up, and we finally got through to that goal. All these amazing little adventures have all been leading and building and shaping me for the next huge adventure to come to paddle solo unassisted across the Atlantic Ocean for charity. I think it puts it all in perspective when you realize that you know more people have actually walked on the moon that have ever tried to endure 24 hours open ocean sub record attempts and just achieving that goal I think for me is is super important and realizing that this was also done all for charity for Miles with Smiles I think is also really important so you look back and you think well you knew you're doing it for a good reason not only for achieving your goals but also for giving back at the same time some people say third time lucky but I say third time resilience perseverance and dogged determination you always get your goal Get ready. The sub crossing. It's coming. And I'll be ready.